So yeah, discrete op amps. This is our own offering to the, uh, there's, there's a few out there. Now, I, the IC op amps, some of them perform very good, very well. You know, they have massive open loop gain. They have uh, low offset, DC offset, yeah. They draw very little current. You know, on paper, they perform very well. The trouble is the human ear doesn't hear the way test equipment measures, you know, and everyone's ears are different as well. So it really is in the ear of the beholder what sounds good, you know. I see op amps, for starters, it's on a tiny die, and that means every transistor and every resistor is gonna be, it's gonna have a lower dissipation available to it, you know. And the amount of gain blocks they've added onto there to deal with the performance is probably going to get in the way of the best sounding audio, you know. So they're not designed, I see op amps are not designed really purely for audio, you know. They're designed to have an impressive spec sheet, you know. But they're not necessarily going to sound the best. So I, I wanted something that is designed purely for audio and only has the game blocks that's, that, that's needed for good audio, you know, good clean audio. And the components are top notch, Japanese, uh, Toshiba, JFETs and BJTs there, you know, as are the, resi the resistors are top, top notch. Uh, so all the components are top notch. And it, runs much closer to class, pure class A, you know. Uh, it will draw more current, you know, uh, as all discretes do. In some cases, you may need to beef up the power supply if you're using a bunch of them in a piece of equipment. It's similar in some ways to the, the 990 in the topology, except it has JFET front end and it's two 990s. It's, it's not the same, it's similar. It's the circuit's similar, it's not the same. Uh, there's quite a lot of difference, actually. Uh, DC offset's always pretty low on these, so you can pretty much use them anywhere. Active filters, they work great in, because the offset's low enough. Now, some discretes, that's not gonna be the case. I can't mention any names, but some don't have a particularly low offset. So active filters are out, you know. Uh, or some types of active filter. It can be used as buffers, can be used to do gain. Uh, pretty much anywhere you'd plug a TL072 or any 5532 in a piece of gear. Balanced output stages, you know, gain stages, etc. It plugs in instead of the dual dip 8 IC, you know. Uh, it comes with a socket as well, so you can solder the socket in and have it removable and still AB it against the IC that you took out of there, etc. Uh, for me, these just sound a bit more musical, a bit more natural, and the transients sound a bit more real, and a bit less synthetic. Uh, that's what my ears are telling me, but over to you, see what you think.